Hey, hey, Bouncer, you here, and today we're going to be looking at an app called Flow Sketch, Draw, and Take Notes. I picked this up because I, I really like this aesthetic for the icon that they have. Um, it tells me a lot about basically what I can expect when it comes to the design. I think the icon is pretty well designed, so, and that's something that drew me in. But it's basically an app that lets you draw, it lets you take notes, and, and that kind of thing. And if, as you can see from the screenshots, it seems like. Um, there's a lot that is possible with this app and I really like the fact that art is now much more accessible before you had to go out get paint get all these materials for you to express yourself but now it's much easier so let's open it and see what it is I've already signed up uh, you don't have to actually uh, sign up for you to use this app it just when you open it it's possible for you to just start drawing and do, doing that, those kinds of things and on the side here they have a way for you to create new documents. So let's assume we've created a new document and this is the main user interface that you're going to find if you want to draw something. At the bottom here, they have different kinds of pens. And as you can hear, they even have sounds whenever you're selecting each pen. And I really love the layout. Like the design is so, like so far for me, it's so beautiful. Um, and I'm really liking how it looks. So let's try to draw something. I'm going to use my finger here. That's the first pen. I don't know what that one is called, but let's just try out different pens to see the quality. That one is more of a white pen, I guess. This one is more of a blue pen, a red pen. And here you can change colors. Let's see how that process works. Red. I'm swiping. You can hear that there's a sound. And then you can select different tips. How cool is this? They're trying to make the process more tactile you can feel that you're selecting different pens. You can feel that you're selecting a different head for a pen. Let's move up. We've selected our different pen. So let's see what these options are. You can collaborate with people. You can remove the UI. So I've discovered a huge issue with the user interface. So um, I was here. So initially I was here, I was selecting my pens you're selecting your pens and then there's a there's a button here at the top that can let you hide basically this interface if you don't want to see it if you want to work in a space that is not cluttered by all these pens you can tap on this circle at the top but then it disappears so you don't really have a good idea of how you can get back to the to the thing so it's at the very top there's a button there that allows you to go back and that is hidden if you have an iphone that has a notch I have to admit it's not the the most intuitive interface. I think you're going to have to learn a bit, at least compared to what you can get with the Apple Pencil and uh, if you're using something like Procreate, which is what I use primarily to make art. But I really love the interface. You can it's easy to select stuff. Let me try to zoom in here so we can. So let me also use the eraser and try to clear all this stuff that I've been drawing. Awesome. Mm, it doesn't really feel the best to draw on a phone screen. They even have a way for you to cut, cancel. They have a way for you to measure stuff if you want to have like, a, you know, something something specific. And uh, they also support, looks like graphing or angles of some kind so that you can draw straight lines if, you, if that's a what you wish so it's possible for you to do that um, a lot of these you might have to learn for yourself and I'm sure there's tutorials probably on YouTube and I can understand why they needed to do this because the interface of this uh, phone is very small for drawing which is why I wish that uh, something like uh, an iPhone could support something like an Apple pencil because it would be much easier for you to be able to draw something like this and I'm sure there's an app uh, and I'm sure this is a flow for iPad as well, which uh, that's the one I would probably recommend. It's not the best experience to to draw things on your phone, basically. But uh, if you want to take notes, if you want to do such kinds of things, uh, that's very possible. Now, let me switch back. You can also select different kinds of shapes. And as you can see, like so far, what it looks like is just a bunch of random shapes. And I, I'm not being told what any of this stuff means. So I kind of have to figure it out for myself, which I don't think is going to be the the easiest way for me to uh, move forward or for me to understand how to use this um, to use this system. 
I also love the colors. They've put a lot of effort into naming the colors. So you have specific shades that you can select. This one is called Smoky Toppers. Let's see. I need to turn that off and that off. Uh, yep, it's turned off. Okay, so you turn it on, turn it off. Turn it on, you can cut stuff, turn it off. There you have some white stuff, you have your eraser. And then you have your different pens. So you, so you have some tools here on the side that you can turn on and turn off. Let's turn on our pen. And uh, yeah, there it is. So my question is, can we zoom, how much can we zoom in further? So this is the farthest I can zoom out. This is the farthest I can zoom out. Let me select a bigger pen. This is the farthest I can zoom out. And this is the closest I can zoom in. So it's not, uh, it's not very infinite. And uh, I'm wondering how I would even type on something like this with, uh, with my finger. And now let's look at the membership. So let's see the pricing. It's part of Moleskine Studio App Bundle. So they have a bundle of different apps. So it's seven, seven days free trial and then 25 bucks a year. So every membership includes actions. It has uh, organize your calendar. And uh, what else? You can get cross-platform access. Well, I, I really love the design and I feel like if you're a professional and maybe you're a designer or maybe you're someone who this is something that you would benefit from, maybe you love taking notes. I think that the default notes app on an iPhone uh, supports a lot of the features that you can find here. Um, it's not as customizable and you don't have so much, uh, you don't have like nice pens like this. Probably have only a few couple of options, but, um, but uh, if, if, maybe you find a specific use case maybe you like designing in a specific way uh i feel like you can still get a lot out of the default notes app that you get on your phone on your iphone uh, but other than that i love this app it's very very well designed i think it's very well thought out the user interface is a bit difficult to learn because there's so much going on on this small device and this might work better for you on like an ipad if you're using an apple pencil it's also difficult to take notes um, like if I wanted to write like stuff, of course I want to write stuff. So here, here's a, here's a sub, scra, and then exclamation mark, subscra. Okay, so that's it. This app is called Flow. You'll find the links in the description. Uh, if you're an artist, if you're a designer, you might enjoy this. If you like taking notes, I don't necessarily recommend that you pay for it yet. I recommend that you check it out and you use it. And if you find an interesting use case that you did not have in the normal notes app, you can decide whether or not you want to pay for this. So that's it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.